Neon Tax is a pretty popular tax effect in video creation. And in the last video, we already know how to create a glowing font effect. Well, today, we'll show you how to make the effect more attractive by working on the details. Thus, if you are interested in this one, keep watching the video. We will adjust the color of the glowing light. Find the text color and click on it. You can choose any color you like. Of course, it is best to choose a brighter color. In addition to recapturing the corresponding color, we can also use color mixing to achieve the same effect. Select the image we need to change your color off. Click on color. You can try to adjust the color temperature. Hue. But it won't make much difference as there is little to be adjusted. I prefer to use HSL. Here we select the cyan. Then click here to change your hue value. You can change it to any color you want. After selecting a color, remember the number here. Then click apply. Lex, we select the other image. Do the same operation. Fill in the same number here as we just did. Now we have a text with a brand new color. The glowing effect is pretty nice already, but we can optimize it further. Click here to display the subtitle track. This time, I want to get a text stroke effect. Let's change the text color to black. Then, we we'll find the text border. Change the size to 14. Change your blur to 8. Now we have a nice looking border effect. Click on Apply. Then click on Slapshot and name it 03. We delete this clip. Then Put a screenshot 03 on it. Adjust the scale and blend mode. And then lower the opacity a little bit. Well, now there appear this hello detail on the tags. Next, we click here. Change your background color to white. Now, we bring back the subtitle track that we hit earlier. Select the text material and open the text editor. Remove the text joke and keep the black text only. Click apply. Now we have a black text effect with a white background. Then, click on snapshot and name it 04. Now, change your background color to black. Then, click here to create a new overlay track. We put a screenshot 04 on it. Adjust the scaling. Know that we need to change your blend mode here to darken. Then, lower the opacity a little bit. Now, the text will turn more realistic. If you want your text to blink like this, all you need is to do something like this. Right-click to select all text clips. Drag the playhead to about a second a second. 
click on split and then delay the extra part next we add a fading and a fade out to all the text change your duration to 50% each let's finish it here quickly When we are done, right click on the box, use Ctrl C to make a copy, and then move the playhead to the end of the text. Use Ctrl V to paste. Repeat the operation several times. Now we play to see the effect. Well, it's not bad. You can also change your color to create a different color look in each blink effect. Well, this is all for today's video. Go try it out for yourself. And if you want to learn more about other add-in tricks or what has been going on with VidiPro Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye!